everyone, it's Dr. Anka with video 3 of the Reset Your Body in 7 Weeks Challenge. Step 3 is move well. If you're like most people, you probably spend a large portion of your day in a seated position. Mountain research now suggests that sitting in and of itself is an independent risk factor for poor health and premature death, even if you exercise regularly. Moving well is the third of the seven things that you need to pay attention to every day in order to get healthier or to maintain your health. Sleep well, poop well, move well, think well, eat well, drink well, and rest well. Why is moving important? I found this very entertaining video that explains it all. Check it out below. Um, how much exercise do you really need? It really depends on what you're looking for. For example, if you want to lose weight, aim for 300 minutes of moderate or vigorous activity each week. If you want to tone up, add strength and resistance training and keep your cardio at the 150 minutes per week mark or 75 minutes if you up the intensity. Muscle tone depends not only on the muscles but also on the amount of fat on top of them. Crunches might get you the six pack abs, but for most normal weight people, the muscles will not be visible unless body fat levels are quite low. If you want to live longer, get the recommended 150 minutes of moderate to intensity activity per week or 75 minutes of vigorous act intensity activity, plus strength or resistance training twice a week. Make sure to include stretching, which will make staying alive, active easier and potentially protect against injury. If you want to sleep better, research found that those who clocked at least 150 or 75 minutes of moderate or vigorous activity each week reported a 65% improvement in overall sleep quality, were 68% less likely to have leg cramps during the night and were 45% less likely to have difficulty concentrating when they felt tired compared to, compared to those in the study who had not met those physical activity benchmarks. Watch the timing of your workouts as well. Some people do well exercising in the evening, but others find it doing within a few hours of bedtime has an adverse effect on their ability to fall asleep. If so, work out first thing in the morning or before lunch. Routines are often beneficial. Research shows those who consistently exercise in the morning are more likely to stick to their workouts, similar to those who eat the same breakfast every day that tend to get, be in a healthier way at, at a healthier weight than those who vary their morning meals. If you tend to sit most of your days, in addition to the 150 or 75 minutes prescription, Try to move about every hour for a couple of minutes. Go to the washroom, get a tea, do a few squats. The good news is that in a recent found study found that just two minutes of walking every hour could help reverse the negative effects of sitting. The researchers found that two minutes each hour, even of light activity intensity such as walking, equated to a 33% lower risk of death for the 3,242 adults in the study. You can make it part of your routine by setting a reminder on your computer or phone to take breaks every hour or use the app Stand Up or Break Taker. So remember, the bare minimum amount of activity to stay healthy and sleep well is 150 moderate or 75 vigorous minutes of activity per week. Double that amount if your goal is to lose weight. And if that seems overwhelming, remember that you can break up your workouts. Every little bit of activity helps. And doing something is always better than nothing. The bottom line is that if you are very, very fit, exercise two, three, four, five times a week for half, to an, hour, half an hour to an hour of time, just exceptionally put. But if you sit all the time, or a great percentage of the time, there's research that shows that you are going to increase your risk of dying prematurely. So even if you're fit. Now what to do as a general goal, 
aim for at least 30 minutes of physical activity daily. If you want to lose weight or meet the specific fitness goals, do more. Want to aim higher? You can achieve more health benefits, including increasing increased weight loss if you ramp up your exercise to 300 minutes per week. Reducing sitting time is important too. The more hours you sit each day, the higher your risk of metabolic problems, even if you have achieved the recommended amount of daily physical activity. Short or long chunks of time, even brief bouts of activity offer benefits. For instance, if you can fit in one 30 minutes walk, do, do 10, if you cannot fit in one 30 minutes walk, do three of 10 minutes walk instead. What's most important is making regular physical activity part of your lifestyle. I'm challenging you this week to make exercise a lasting part of your life. I included an article below with the nine steps to make exercise a lasting part of your life. Join, join us on my Facebook Living Healthy Living page by the end of the week to share your experience with the other people in this challenge. I'll personally be there on Sunday evening to answer all your questions live.